The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Here comes the Lunatic Fringe! Introducing the challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose! He can be technically savvy, he can brawl with the best, Dean Ambrose. He's an anomaly. No, he's not, Byron, he's nuts. The guy may sleep in a bedroom with padded walls, but one thing is undeniable. When Ambrose steps inside the ring, he is dangerous and one of the best in recent history. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion, Seth. Rollins. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. <laughs> Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. The pairing of Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins is that fair case where. Great allies also make for equally great enemies. It's hard to choose what's more entertaining, Dean and Seth as a unit or at each other's throats. However, Ambrose should never forget how Seth Rollins once put a knife in his back and said it was just business. And this is one of those matches Man. where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. When reflecting on Dean and Seth's past, Byron, I recall that the architect didn't sell out. He bought in to the evolution of Seth Rollins. So they put, it's not about how crazy you are that'll get you ahead, it's how smart you are. Well, either way, Corey, Dean and Seth have a chaotic relationship. Either Ambrose is getting his head stomped through cinder blocks, or he's winning tag team titles with Rollins. Drop it right to the spine. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Drop down. Drop down. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Seth Rollins has earned a few nicknames in WWE. The King Slayer, Mr. Money in the Bank, the future of WWE. But the one he's had the longest is the Architect. 
They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Michael Rollins is the architect because of everything he's built and destroyed. He was the brains of the shield and then dismantled the shield to join the authority. Yeah, the authority is now seemingly gone, and I'd say Seth beating Triple H sealed that. Then Seth led the shield reformation, and you just know Rollins has his eye on potential new backup if need be. Ambrose starting to struggle now, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Oh, this is nothing, Cole. You don't compete in a TLC match without collecting a few bruises. Guys, remembering the long and shaky journey it was for Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins to reunite, but once they did, the WWE Universe was beyond excited to see fences mended and the Raw Tag Team Championships around Dean and Seth's waist. Getting on the subject of that highly anticipated reunion Byron mentioned, Ambrose and Rollins are brothers united for a common cause. And Corey, don't forget that title victory put Dean Ambrose in a rare class of Grand Slam champions. Yeah, it's really kind of unbelievable how quickly Ambrose made that list. Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Dean Ambrose. One of these things is not like the other. Here it is. One of the things we've learned about Seth Rollins over the years is his resilience, his never-say-die attitude, always in a match. Don't ever count the King Slayer out. He's got an overabundance of heart, plenty of guts, and will do whatever is necessary to pick up a win or vanquish a foe. You know, guys, I have to agree with you. Seth Rollins does have incredible resilience. No authority disruption, no injury is too big of a hurdle for him. Those obstacles just add more fuel for Seth to burn the competition down. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Guys, let me take you back to Dean. And here we go. Seth Rollins sees his opening. Uh, Rollins is dominating here. Can he end it here? Oh, no. I don't like Dean Ambrose's chances in this one. He doesn't like you. Two superstars, and they both only want one thing in the world, to be called WWE Intercontinental Champion. And now, they'll have their chance. We're reflecting on Dean Ambrose's epic Money in the Bank cash -in. It was certainly a surprise to everyone. It wasn't the first or last time the lunatic fringe would shock the WWE Universe. And we can't understate how stunned Seth Rollins was that night when Dean Ambrose... And Seth Rollins is still the champion. How about another look at some of the highlights? I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, and still the Intercontinental Champion, Seth.